guys, it's Tiff here. We're going to do something a little bit different today, and that is we're going to make some mixed media wall art. How fun is that? So what I've done is I've taken a stained tablecloth that I got at the thrift store for about a quarter, and I put it on an embroidery hoop, um, and I'm taking some gesso in both black and in white, and just kind of uh, making um, whatever type of marks you want to make. If you want it to be abstract, that, like this one, then you can definitely do that. Um, I'm sorry I got a frame there. I'm just trying to um, tighten it up on my hoop there. And the black gesso really gives it a very good opaque coverage. And then I'm just making some random marks. And then that little spot I didn't want there, so I'm whitening that up. And this was kind of an off-white beige color um, tablecloth that I found. So keep your eye out when you're at the thrift store for any um, stained um, towels or sheets. And now what I'm going to do is I wanted to bring some dimension into the project. So I'm working with some um, just... A little twig that I found out I live on three acres of wood so um, tree limbs and and things are very easy to come by so I'm just painting that with white gesso I'm using my favorite uh, Dina Wakely paintbrush there and I'm gonna let that dry a minute so now I'm gonna go back with my tablecloth that I have in a smaller hoop so I got three hoops that are in various sizes and I'm going to take and just put the hoop right on the tablecloth. Tighten it down and then I'm just going to cut that um, around the hoop there. The great thing about this project is you can do it in any color to match whatever color scheme you have in that particular room. So um, since we've got a new house, I have done a lot of my own um, art because it's so easy to match it with what, what you have. So now I'm going to take some DMC floss and an embroidery needle. And I don't know that it has to be an embroidery needle. I'm not even sure that's an embroidery needle because, well... Let's keep it real. I, I don't really do a lot of hand stitching other than with paper or with um, little quick projects like this. So whatever type of needle you have, I'm sure it'll work. And I'm just going to go in really quick here. And I'm going to do some little plus signs or crosses or X's, whatever you want to call it. Just adding a few of those. Uh, make sure you keep it straight under there. And really just, um, you know, it just kind of makes it pop a little bit and adds a little bit of dimension there. So, really quickly, going to add those three. And then I'm just going to secure it and tie it off in the back. Making sure that's nice and snug around the edges. Just going to tie those strings there. And we should be good to go. And keep those scrap, um, the scrap pieces of thread because you will be able to use that in any other projects that you have. So um, keep those little pieces. You can add that to any paper projects or journals. Um, you know, whatever needs a little bit. And the first one is complete. Now we'll be moving right along to the second one that we had over there drying. I think that's going to be the next one I'm going to work on. And we're going to cut these little, the little pieces of uh, stick there that we let the gesso dry. We're just going to cut those. Uh oh, flying objects. And you can let those vary in size. And then we're going back with the needle 
and with the DMC floss that we used a while ago and we're just going to stitch them on there really quick. Easy peasy. I'll try to attach a picture of the collage wall that I ended up doing um, at the end here to show you how it looks um, all grouped together. But this is super simple. Um, really the cost was simply um, the embroidery hoops and I already had the needle and I already had the floss. So I think you could really make a super inexpensive project um, for your house um, with you know embroidery hoops and like I say if you look up and can get um, you know sheets or um, stain tablecloth any of that would work really well um, for this project here even the sheets if you could find one that has a nice pattern on it and you wanted to kind of go around it with the um, embroidery thread you could totally do that and kind of make the dimension pop there and here I'm just doing like, um, I don't know, there's probably a name for that stitch, but we're going to call that the X stitch <laughs> because I don't really know anything about embroidery. So if you're watching this and you know all about this, please tell me what kind of stitch this is because I'm not sure. And I will tell you to make sure if you're using a, a long um, strand to make sure you keep those threads um tighten the back because I did have a little food pot right there and it got all jacked up in the back and a knot but I missed it so we made it work but just make sure you keep your eye on those threads in the back because they will get all tangled up and guys not to completely bore you but you just keep stitching all of those sticks on and you have you a beautiful wall hanging so thanks so much for joining me i hope you'll check in next time